Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Sanders. I'm back with my regular Wednesday upload. Um, as I say every week, I am a shiny disco ball. I'm a scientist. I'm a blogger. I'm a fashion lover. I'm a mommy. I'm a hottie hat girl wife. I'm a cat lover and an avid reader. And today I'm back with another book. This one is called I Am Famous. Um, but first, outfit of the day. Yeah. When I walk through, when I walk through, when I walk through, eh. <laughs> outfit of the day. Um, you know, there's not really much to be said here. This is just kind of a, you know, beautiful pink colored sweater dress. It's just a simple sheath. It's basically the nightgown that Scrooge wore. Um, and I love it. And it's, you know, made out of this really nice thick knit material. This is Passy's and Zara. Um, as I always say, if you have your clothes and you, and you love them, wear them. Um, and of course, this is my very sparkly padded headband. Again, this is Zara. Um, some sim simple silk over huggies and for shoes the same Philip Lim um, pink shirling slides again they're a block heel mule perfect heel it's basically just a slipper that you're allowed to wear outside um, and that's it you know it's getting to be a little bit of you know cooler weather so I've been pulling out some of the warmer clothes and I'm loving it okay so that's what I got for out for the day let's get started Okay, so this one is called I Am Famous, and it, again, it's by Tara Lib. Girl, I was about to start reading a book and the phone had a die. Oh, tragic. Anyways, let's get started. You know, oh, um, again, I Am Famous, and this is by Tara Lueb and Becky Katie. Um, and the time for the battery to come back, um, I have learned how to pronounce her last name. Um, or so I think. And as we open up the book, it is a picture and it says, Keely is a celebrity. Hey, she has been famous since the moment she was born. The paparazzi follow her every move, documenting it all for the cameras. Oh, the price of fame. Please look at Miss Keely. I mean, come on. Come on. Get into Keely. You know what I mean? Like, okay. She said, let me put on my stunner shades. Let me put on my little tutu skirt and my vest. She got on all the accessories. Like, mm. when she walked through. When she walked. Okay, okay. I really got to get it together. Anyway, I am famous. Here we, ha here we have Miss Keely. I am famous. Okay. She has said it again so y'all don't forget. I am famous. Talk about manifesting. I am an actress, a singer, a dancer, darling. Daddy says I'm also a diva, whatever that means. <laughs> She's got on her crown. Here she is got on her little unicorn onesie that I see two of every day, big and small. Um, and, you know, she is just fabulous here. Looks like she has a little white animal. Um It looks like a cat to me, but I could be partial. And there's poor daddy. Look at him. He didn't have to dress up as a ladybug. He's on the floor serving his queens. Terrible. <laughs> a star is born. I've been famous for as long as I can remember. It was obvious early on that I had special talents. <laughs> She's got spaghettis all over her. Um, a unique style and a flair for the dramatic. Oh, okay. Here we see that it is a dog. There's spots and there's definitely a tail here that's not a cat tail. So this is a dog. Poor mommy. Look at the poor mommy. She's throwing a temper tantrum and poking the mommy in the eye. Like us mommies go through so much. And this is exactly why we get really nice things for Mother's Day and not just barbecues. So there. <laughs> because I am famous, I get special treatment wherever I go. I have my own chef, driver, and housekeeper. Look at her. <laughs> She's got her scarf around her neck and again, the shades and a drink. My fan club spoils me. All my movies go viral. <laughs> and here we have like, looks like with some Instagram posts of Keely 
from Keely's mommy in the little kiddie pool. We have Keely getting glammed up in mommy's makeup. As mommies know, that is an everyday thing. And then we have we have her on the body. She probably is going to hate that when she's older. The paparazzi follow me everywhere and showbiz. That means photographers who take pictures of famous people like me. <laughs> it's her mom and her dog. Her mom, <laughs> the mom, the dad, and the really strange cat dog because now it looks like a cat. Sometimes it's annoying. They bother me when I'm dining. <laughs> Mom and dad are just trying to get trying to get a picture of her eating. And she's like, ugh, paparazzi, please. They chase me while I'm driving. They invade my privacy. Do something cute, they beg. Ugh, the price of fame. Tonight, I'm performing at Grandpa's birthday party. This will be my biggest show yet. My stylist arrives. We discuss the right look. Okay, so what, what are the options, Keely? Oh, look. Look what she's put on. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Mommy's heels. She's got on a boa and a crown. And, you know, to be honest, I approve. Um, it looks like a fuchsia headband, some purple eyeshadow girls, some purple eyeshadow, and a whole bunch of necklaces, some biking shorts. Some, ooh, opera length gloves. My God, Keely got it all on, don't you? And mommy's like, can you please just put on this church dress that your grandmama got for you? Please, please. <laughs> I hit the red carpet. Okay, so we've toned it down a little bit. Praise God. Wait, I need my sunglasses. Famous people always wear sunglasses. Break a leg, daddy says. In showbiz, that means good luck. It's a packed house. I've never seen so many fans. Showtime. For act one, I sing Grandpa's favorite song. Uh-oh. What were the words again? Just keep smiling. The show must go on. La, 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 la. And look, she's sitting here posed up. She's probably taking a dramatic moment, like all the singers do, like Miss Beyonce and like Mariah do. They just come out and they just stand there. Meanwhile, the fan is blowing and their hair is all in the, in the way and they're just like standing there. I wonder, like, what are they thinking in that moment? If they're thinking anything or if they just be hot. Oh, now we're at intermission. She's sitting down with a nice piece of cake. I wonder if Grandpa's favorite song was Happy Birthday. Like, I wonder if that's what she was singing. Now for act two. I dazzle them with my latest dance moves. Ouch! Just keep on smiling. The show must go on. And she's twisting and twirling and just flipping and flopping. And she's spinning. And oops, she has a little mishap over the gift table. So it is a birthday. And the grand finale. Boom, she hits the floor. How humiliating. I'll never work in this town again. And look, meanwhile, Grandpa and all his friends are looking on like, are you okay, little Keely? What? What's happening? Is that applause? It's my fans. They still love me no matter what. And that's the best part about being a star. Oh, and look, her grandma, her grandpa picks her up and gives her a big hug. And everyone's still smiling and clapping because, of course, they love little Keely and her antics. Oh. And she's here bowing. She says, I am still famous. And that's the end. Okay. So that one was a shorty. Um, I really enjoyed it. I think the pictures were really cute. I think that... We'd kind of have to go more into like the descriptions of the pictures and kind of talk and add a little bit of extraness to it as opposed to just reading through it because the words are very sparse and this is probably perfect for a beginning reader. Um, and you know, homegirl's famous, so I love it. She had a little outfits going on. She gave her first performance. So we are here for Miss Keeley. Aplauso, aplauso. But now, because it was a shorty, we get a two for one. Uh, a bogo. Chanel, please let's discuss. Please let's discuss. 
Now, Liz and I have written an entire blog post. Again, as I always say, if you're not reading my blog, you absolutely should. I'm going to put the link below. Um, I've written an entire blog post about Chanel Spring Summer 2022. Um, I'm not going to go into all of it. I am mind blown as it almost every single season. But this one, particularly because, baby, they were inspired by the 90s. They pulled out all the old stops. I mean, basically, you could just see Naomi Campbell, like, stomping down the runway and her little pink, you know, little skirt and then matching suit. It was amazing. Um, so I love how it was so reminiscent of the 90s collections. We had some beautiful swimwear. You know, of course, we had the, the skirt suits. But baby, the bags. Let's like, okay. And actually, I should not even say the bags. Like, yes, they're beautiful bags. Beautiful gowns, as Aretha would say. Rest in peace. Um, but really, I'm talking about the bag. It's the heart-shaped bag the heart shaped bag now from what i can tell it's coming in three different sizes um one looks like it's kind of a wristlet and then there's a mini and then there's a larger one they look like that there are maybe three or four different colors so it looks like maybe a purple like a nice lilac lilac um a pink very similar to this dress a white and a black um I'm actually, for once, stuck between the black and the pink because I feel like if you wear a pink heart-shaped bag, it gives very much like Betsy Johnson. It's giving Kate Spade. It's giving Juvenile, um, even though it's a gorgeous shade of pink. But something about the black is just kind of like, yes, it's a heart-shaped bag, but it's a grown-up heart-shaped bag, and it's still chic, and it's still classic Chanel. It's got the beautiful, you know, pocket on the front with the CC closure on the back. We've still got the Mona Lisa pocket. Um, it's got the quilting, and the heart shape is just... <sighs> so yes, this is one that I don't care if I have to call 5011 essays across this here United States. I will do so. Um, like this bag a lot. I am going to try to get my hands on it any way that I possibly can. They had a padded headband. Girl, like, hello, padded headband queen here. Like, they had a padded headband. I didn't see it on the runway, but I saw it on Chriselle Lim. Um, I'm going to put the picture that was on her Instagram here. So cute. Padded with just simple CC over here. Love it. I know the girls are going to be all over that one. Um, oh, and the chokers. You remember how I said like maybe two blog posts ago, perhaps the first Chanel video on YouTube that I was looking for a perfect choker? they have the perfect perfect choker it looks like it might be like lucite which is really really cool um but it looks like just a simple lucite little band with the cc at the front like why do they do this they do it like applause like here we all are as chanel lovers are like talking so much trash like oh the prices are getting too high they don't ever have any merchandise they pulling it they're trying to be an hermes game where they only have one or two little, little bags and then you gotta beg your essay to get it we here talking all this crap and then like oh i'm not ever gonna buy anything again i'm just gonna move on to other brands and then here they come and we're like gotta pick your paint your face up off of the floor um so yeah eating crow i'm definitely into that now after that bag i don't know but um yeah that's all i got read the blog i go more into it on the blog um but yeah this is a quick little two for one i'm so happy to be here talking with you all again i missed last week because work got to be a little bit hectic i had some data that i had to return back to people um so it didn't happen and i apologize for that but i'm back with a two for one so yeah am i good again anyways thank you guys for sticking around if you enjoyed it please like comment and share with your friends 
Let me know which book you guys want to see next. Um, I still have no idea where Ida Twist Scientist is now. But anyway, I can't find it. Um, but interestingly, Ida Twist Scientist is now on Netflix. It's a whole show. Like, I am so excited for young Ada, even though they're calling her Ada. Um, it's very strange, but anyway, they're calling her Ada. I'm still calling her Ada because that's what her mama named her in this house. <laughs> anyway, um, if I can find it, we're going to talk about, we're going to read Ada. Um, and then of course there's a new Claris book that came out. So leave me a comment below and let me know which book you'd like to go through next. If you have any other suggestions, what's your favorite collection that's just been thrown at us recently from Chanel and what, what do you love in the collection? If not everything. Anyways, thank you guys for popping back in. Bye. See you next time.